Okay, just the uh, final update for a while. Uh, just gonna add a couple of sensors in these three boxes. Uh, Should have done it before, but uh, time was constrained. It's about minus one Celsius right now, so it's not too, too bad. Uh, just gonna pop the top really quick. Uh, take those pieces of styrofoam out. Put a single sensor on top in the warm spot, and then I'll put a sensor in each of the entrances about uh, three inches in so fairly straightforward uh, this time of year is usually when we get uh, uh, most of our snow so i think the coldest so far has been about minus 25 uh, last few days uh, it's been snowing so around minus 10 minus 5 in that range today's a bit warmer hence the reason i'm here uh, bees are humming, so that's good. Uh, but what I'll do is uh, get that done now so I can put them back to bed before it gets too cold. Because uh, it is evening. But, uh, and I brought a little vial to take some samples if I see uh, extra dead bees. And I'll just check them for, uh, for gut health. But anyways, uh, just a quick one. So you can see how... I've got sensors with a skewer, so those will go in the lower entrance, so it helps me give, be fairly consistent with how far I put them in, and then basically I'll put one of these uh, on top uh, once I, put, uh, I pull the, the plug. I am wearing my bee suit, because uh, sometimes they do react in this weather, but hopefully they, they're calm, so... We'll get to see the cluster. Uh, I will keep the camera on and we'll, we'll have a look. I guess one thing to note, why am I putting these sensors in? Uh, one is to understand, uh, I guess the, whatchamacallit, the cleansing flight frequency and when the, the, the cluster releases. So that's the purpose of the lower sensor at the entrance. And the one on top uh, will tell me one. Is the colony alive? Uh, generally where the cluster is, but also in March, it'll help me understand the queen situation. So these two colonies here had uh, queen issues late in the season. Uh, so it may be uh, that they overwinter, but there's no queen. So by having uh, the sensor in there, when I put my patty on, it'll uh, spike up to 30, 35 C, uh, almost within a few hours. Uh, and then that tells me there's a queen in there. But if I don't get a temperature spike, uh, it's a good indication that uh, there is no queen. So then I can either merge or do something different with that colony. So anyways, it's the main reason I'm putting these sensors in. Okay, everything's pretty dry. You can hear them humming in there. So last one, I'm just gonna pull the plug in the middle here. Sensor ready. And there you go. You can see a nice little cluster right there. Uh, not that tight. So just take the sensor. Bees. Okay. Don't need to put that super tight. And that's it. Super easy.
And I guess the last thing I'm doing is uh, taking my battery out, recharging it uh, so I can start store it for the winter. Uh, at my other yard near the house there, we had some grizzlies, two grizzlies hanging around with a black bear. And uh, a few days ago, you could see the tracks in the snow finally heading towards uh, the mountains over there. Because that's where my other yard is. That's where I live. So basically, there's a north side slot behind those mountains. And I think that's where they uh, they den. But uh, it seems to be, they seem to be gone. So if I don't do the battery thing, uh, basically it's going to cost me a hundred bucks uh, to replace it next year if I don't take it out of here and charge it before storing it. So cheers. Okay, doing one last check here. So I'm going to put some sensors in here like I did the other yard. Uh, all the colonies seem to be doing okay. Uh, in the other yard, what looked like a small cluster is just a colony not in cluster because uh, the bottom entrance had a bunch of live bees so they are spread out over uh, two boxes so which is good but time will tell very quiet cluster which is good even with all that disturbance sort of hear them so I know they're in there See very loose cluster the bees aren't really clustered uh, which is good means they're in low stress I'll just put the sensor in and plug it up and that's it as easy as that and now they're protected I just put the bubble foil Yeah. <laughs>